Six. Welcome back to My Kitten Raids. I'm Eleanor and this is my August outfit unboxing. Um, it's actually been sitting in my hall for a little while but apologies for no video last week. I came down with a head cold that turned out to be an RSV uh, infection so um, I was very very unwell last weekend. Um, <clears throat> mostly recovered now. Mostly. Um, but yeah, so there was no video last week, obviously, particularly because I was having to deal with um, trying to get an assignment done and sort out some upcoming assignments while ill. So, uh, yeah, that was a thing. But August Outcry unboxing. So, let's open it up. And so the theme for the August uh, Young Adult Outcry is Falling for the Shadows. And the artwork is this... Sort of stained glass window <clears throat> so that's awesome so what ah i remember we got the spoiler card spoiler for like this month it's another one of these beautiful tolkien inspired ceramic bowls uh by artist janine lacour um so this one Pays homage to the realm of Mordor, which is Sauron's shadowed lair. This design features the towering fortress of Barad-dûr and the fiery range of M Mount Doom. Now, isn't that interesting? So far, all the other like five that I have are like good places. Mordor, not so good. So let's open it up. Ooh, so it's like black and red and it's oh it's got more the language of Mordor written around the top and this band of eyes and then the tower and the the mountain Ooh, and of course inside it's got the eye of Sauron and it says Mordor so love it can add it to my collection what else do we have Ooh, just a bag very small bag. Um, hmm, what's this for? That's a good card. Travel mug tote bag for your drink when you embark on your travels. Inspired by the hurricane walls. I'm not familiar with that one. Designed by Arnie Nguyen. Okay, cool. All right, travel mug tote. Although, to be honest, I'm probably more likely to... Uh, a drink bottle rather than like a coffee mug or whatever but yeah it's purple it's got some sort of flying ship with a dragon on the prow and the moon and stars and such so it looks very very cool and slightly Chinese in style interesting <coughs> that'll be fun to try and use now what else do we have hmm Okay, ooh, what's this? Everything comes with a price. Only blood can rewrite blood. What? Ah, oh, it's a... It's a mirror. It's a compact mirror. Uh, on a... With but a key ring. And with a wrist... Wrist chain as well. Keychain mirror. Evocation inspired. Again, I'm not familiar with that book uh designed by Yetazaman Shiropa at the Pearl Reader so that's very cool Let's see um don't know how much use I will get out of it but it could come in handy for traveling interesting I do like the color it's this kind of like Almost emerald green, but slightly bluer and darker. But yeah, so, okay. And then we have this velvet bag. It says, be wary, be clever, be good. And it is, ah, it's a key-inspired bottle opener. This is actually the second key-inspired bottle opener much smaller actually that I've had from our crate and I do actually use the other one occasionally on the occasion I've ordered food that comes with a bottle that requires a bottle opener 
but it's this sort of bronzy key. It feels very weighty in my hand. So that is inspired by the gothic aesthetic of One Dark Window, and it's designed by Azura Arts. So that will probably come in handy. I can stick that in my uh, drawer where I keep bottle openers and utensils and stuff for cooking. Then we have the pin. This is the Perfect Pairings pin, and it's Good Omens themed. I have not actually read or watched Good Omens. I have read some of Terry Pratchett's work and I've read some of um, Neil Gaiman's work. Um, I'm sort of familiar with the concept of Good Omens, mostly from fanfic crossovers. But, ah, oh, yeah, no, I see how it works. It's very cute. I at least do recognise this one. So that's the pin. Uh, so that is very, very cute. Now, what is the book? Oh, let me try and lever it out of this box. The book is Castle of the Cursed by Romina Garber. So Castle of the Cursed has this gorgeous dark sort of cover with um, stained glass windows and then the edges. How gorgeous are these edges? Stained glass edges. So pretty. So pretty. Um, it appears to be a, a bit of a gothic tale about um, a girl whose parents are killed and all she's got left is the investigation into what caused their deaths. Um, she goes back to their family's ancestral home in Spain, discovers a vampire, discovers a whole bunch of family secrets, and and discovers that actually the killer might be closer than she thinks. So that sounds fun, and it doesn't look like a particularly long one, but it's such a gorgeous edition. End papers, the cover has artwork on the inside as well. And then this beautiful red hardcover with the black foiling. Gorgeous. So gorgeous. And there is also, as has become usual in recent outquakes, here there's a uh, ribbon bookmark. If I can just find. There we go. See? So absolutely beautiful book. Seriously, these, these painted edges are so gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, so that is the book. Um, the only other thing in here, of course, is the newsletter, which now also is the spoiler card. Um, the newsletter has interviews and huh, the difference between the, t the original cover and the Outquake cover, which is, huh, I'm so glad I have the Outquake cover. Um, and then the spoiler card on the back, so September Young Adult Box is themed I'll Remember You with a sort of Greeky Romany column design. And every September box will include an exclusive candle handmade by Flick the Wick. We haven't had a candle in a while. I actually was burning one today from the previous box. This um sear one. But yeah no a new candle. Nice. Cool. So that is the August outcrate. Uh, favorite thing, the ceramic bowl. You know it. I love those ceramic bowls. I use those ceramic bowls. I've now got six of them. Um, but I'm quite intrigued by the drink carrier as well. Wondering whether maybe, particularly this month as I'm doing September, and therefore trying to walk 10,000 steps a day, it might be handy if when I go out for walks to carry my drink bottle so I don't have to carry it in my hand. Um, particularly when I'm, yeah, interesting. Might get some use out of it, actually, immediately. Handy. So that is the unboxing. That is everything in the box. Um, please like and subscribe. Always happy to chat about books in the comments. And I will see you all again really soon. Bye.